Right, welcome back guys. Um, last week we were looking at linear sequences. We were looking at generating terms, okay, and we were looking at finding the nth term of a sequence. Today though, we're gonna move on to quadratic sequences. And basically we're gonna do the same thing as what we did last week, but we're gonna do it slightly differently. Okay, now quadratic, okay, when we have a power of two, okay, something squared, that means it's quadratic. Okay, that's all that means. It's just a fancy word for it. So don't worry too much about that. What we're going to do today, though, okay, is we're going to generate a sequence. We're going to find a sequence when we've been given the nth term. Okay, we've been given the rule for the sequence. We need to make up the sequence. And what we're going to do, we're going to find the first three terms of each sequence. Okay, so work with me on this. So to get the first term... Okay, of a sequence, okay, n equals 1. So all that means is wherever you see an n, okay, we're going to take that out and we're going to put, in this case, 1 in. So what we end up with is 1 squared plus 3, okay? 1 squared is 1 plus 3 is 4, okay? So have a look at the next term in the sequence then. So the second term in the sequence, okay, the second term, n equals 2. So we're going to take out every n that we've got, okay, and we're going to put in 2 in its place. We're going to substitute it. We're going to take it off. We're going to take n off, and we're going to put something on in its place. So what we end up with is 2 squared plus 3. Now, 2 squared means 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. So the second term in the sequence, okay, is 7. Okay, the last one that we're going to do then, okay, the third term, so remember, we're only finding the first three terms. So the third term, okay, n equals 3. So we're going to take out the n, or we're going to put in the 3 in its place instead. So what we end up with is 3 squared plus 3. Now, 3 squared does not mean 3 add 3. 3 squared means 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12. So our sequence okay, is 4, 7, 12. Okay? Let's have a look at the next one now. So for the first term in the sequence, we're going to do exactly the same process. Okay, first term, n equals 1. So what we've got is we've got 1 squared minus 1. 1 squared means 1 times 1, okay, which is 1, not 2. Okay, so 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay. Do exactly the same for term two. So for the second term, okay, n equals two. All right. So wherever we see an n, we're going to put in a two in its place. Okay. So two squared minus one. Two squared means two times two. Okay. Two times two is four. Minus one is three. Okay, last one now, because we're only finding three terms in each sequence. Okay, so for the third term, all right, n equals three. So wherever we see an n, wherever we see an n, we're going to put in a three instead. So we end up with three squared minus one. So what's three squared? Remember, three squared is not three times two. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 1, which is 8. Okay, so our sequence is 0, 3, 8. Okay? Right, now we're going to change it up a bit. Okay, we're going to make it a bit more challenging now. So this time, notice we've got 2n squared. But we start off in exactly the same way. Okay, we end up with, so for the first term, 
okay, n equals 1. So what we've got is 2 lots of 1 squared. All that means is the squared is for the 1, not the 2. Okay, think about bid mass or bod mass, however you want to look at it. Okay, there's no brackets in here. Then for bid mass, the i means indices, so it's this. So we do the, the, the squared bit first. So we do 2 times by 1 squared. 1 squared is 1 times by 2 equals 2. Okay, if you're going to use a calculator for this, because sometimes it can, sometimes it won't. OK, you'd have to put the one in brackets. OK, or you would have to write two times one squared. OK, and that will give you the correct answer. Right. Second term in the sequence. OK, make sure you're following now, please. OK, so the second term. N equals two. OK, so what we've got is we've got two lots of two squared, a lot of twos there, okay? So we do the two squared first, okay? And then we times it by two. So two squared is four. So two times four equals eight, all right? And then for the third term in the sequence, okay, n equals three. We're going to do 2 times by 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so 2 times by 9 equals 18. Okay, what I want you to do, okay, pause the video now, and I want you to have a go at that bottom right one. Okay, I'm going to go through it. Just see what you get. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong. It's not the end of the world. Okay, no one else will know about it. Have a go, put it on pause, and just see what you get, okay? So what I'm going to do... Okay, I'm going to follow the exact same method. So the first term, n equals 1. We've got 3 times by 1 squared. And then we're going to minus 1. Now, this is all about bid mass. I, I think there's a video on my channel for bid mass. So if you're struggling a bit, it could be that you're not understanding the bid mass. So go away from this video if you're struggling. Have a look at bid mass. And then I want you to come back and have another go at this. Okay, because I have a feeling that's the skill that some of you are going to be missing right now. Okay, I'm going to do 1 squared, which is 1, minus 1. Remember, bid mass multiplication comes before subtraction. So we're going to do 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. Okay, so the first term in that sequence is 2. All right, the second term... Okay, n equals 2. So we're going to do 3 lots of 2 squared minus 1. All I'm doing here is taking out the n and putting in the 2. So this bit looks a bit complicated, but look at that and look at that. And the only difference there is the fact that I've put the 2 instead of the n because I've substituted in. Okay, there is also a video on substitution. So if you're not sure on that bit, Go away and have a look at the substitution video. Come back and have another look at this and see if it makes sense. Bid mass then, so we're going to do 2 squared first, which is 4. Uh, four. So we've got 3 times by 4 minus 1. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 1 is 11. Okay, I'm not going to have enough room on the bottom, but I think you can understand where that's going, okay? So, quadratic sequences, as we said, the only difference is this squared, okay? If it's got a squared in it, it's a quadratic sequencer, okay? I'm doing exactly what you did, though, last week, okay? First term, n equals 1. Second term, n equals 2. Third term, n equals 3. You need to go as far as you're told. So, for the first five terms, you go all the way up to n equals 5. And all you're doing is substituting in the number you, that you've got for n, Okay, that's all, that's all the basics is of this. Substitution and bid mass. And as I've said to you throughout the whole thing, if you're struggling on anything, go away, have a look at the substitution video, have a look at the bid mass video, and then come back and have another look at this. And I think that'll help. I am going to set a worksheet, which will be similar to this, 
So if you are having any issues, let me know. Okay, send me an email or we can do a face-to-face -face online conversation. Okay, but have a good day, guys. See if you can work it out and we'll come back to it at another point. Okay.